News for you, awesome websites without code. Hey, what's up, users? John with Muse for You here to help you build awesome websites without code. And in this video tutorial, we're going to work a bit with the big menu widget. So this is one of the more popular widgets, I would say, at museforyoushop.com. Um, and I think it's because about a year and a half ago, um, I released a video tutorial on building a website from scratch in Adobe Muse, and I used the big menu widget. Um, and since these updates, I've gotten a lot of questions of, you know, where's the menu button? Because in the previous versions of the big menu widget, there was a menu button that said menu. And when you clicked on it, it opened the menu. Uh, since then, there's been a few updates uh, with more customization, more animation, and performance improvements to the Big Menu widget. Um, and one of the changes was that you can now add your own image for the menu button. So that left a lot wondering, or you know, asking the question, um, you know, where's the the menu button with the word menu? So this video tutorial is to showcase how to reintroduce that menu button right within Adobe Muse. Uh, we're going to be using the State button widget. Um, along with the big menu widget and we're going to place the big menu widget inside the state button to recreate that menu button and you can actually do more now with it because in Adobe Muse you could add hover states so you can change the color of the text and the the button when the user hovers over it uh, so I have an example here so if I hover over the menu button uh, we can see the the background changes from re red to white and the check the text changes from white to black so if I click on it, it opens the big menu widget. We also have this animation and uh, looks good. And you can click on any of the menu items uh, for the big menu widget. And you can resize for mobile. You can change the text at certain breakpoints and things like that. So the latest version of the big menu widget is big menu uh, widget 2.4. And uh, yeah, it just has some performance improvements. Um, you can add custom cursors. Um, yeah, you can add an image for the open and close button. Um, and things like that. So, but yeah, this video tutorial is to focus on um, getting that menu button uh, that says menu so that when you click on it, it opens the big menu widget. So I'll go ahead and get started. This shouldn't take uh, too long. Um, so here's the website here. I'll just go to file, uh, new site in Adobe Muse, and I'll click OK, and I'll double click on the home page. So the first thing I'm going to do here is bring in the state button. So to do that, I'm going to go to object and right down here i'm going to say insert widget i'm going to select button and i'm going to select the state button widget and then i'll just place it into adobe muse then i'll just style the text a bit so or actually let me style the background first so here i have the background you can see it's this gray color and it has um, a bit of a corner radius to it so i'm going to take the corner radius off i'm going to go to the corner radius option right up here and just check up all of these corners so that they become um, so that the corner radius is zero and it's a perfect uh, rectangle and it doesn't have any corners. All right, so then I'll go to the fill. So for the fill, I'm gonna say uh, this red color here. And then we'll go to the state button uh, states here. So here we have normal. We can see on rollover, it's black. Um, I think I do want it to be black. So let me just check here. No, I want it to be white. So let me go to the state uh, states panel here and then on rollover. I'll say white. Okay, so here we have the states. Normal is the background is red, the rollover is white, the mouse down is white, and the active is red. So we can leave it like that. There's not really an active state, so it doesn't really matter what color um, that is there. So now we have it there, so we can see it's red. So now let's change the text. So here within the text op the um, text box, I'm just gonna type in menu. And then we'll format it a bit. So I'll highlight it, go to the text panel, and I'm going to select Futura PT bold, bold for the text. And the text size, I'm going to say 24. I'm going to make it all uppercase. So here I'll select the uppercase T's, and I'll add a bit of um, tracking or letter spacing. So I'll say five for the letter spacing, five pixels. And just like that, we have the text menu right in there and perfect, it's centered within the button. And let me see if that red is too bright. Yeah, let me select this darker red here. Okay, so I'll select the text box and now let's go to the text frame states. So here we have the normal state, 
Um, yeah, so it's white. Yeah, so for the normal state, I want it to be white. The rollover state, I want it to be black. So I'll select rollover, and then I'll change the color of the text. So just like that. So now if I go and preview in the browser, so I'll go to file, and I'll say preview page in browser. And if I hover, we can see um, the, the states changes for the button. So there we have the menu button. So the next step is to bring in the big menu widget. So I'll go to the library panel. And if you don't see the library panel, you can go to window and click on library. And then here I'll type in big for the big menu widget. And I'll bring in the big menu widget corner shape. There's 11 different menu uh, options you can choose from or different animations for the menu. For this one, I'll select corner, corner shape. So I'll click hold and drag, place into Adobe Muse. And one thing with the new update as well is that you can resize the menu button just by dragging the widget container. So I can just drag and resize the button that way. I don't have to set the width and height within the widget options. All right, so let's, set, let's see the size of this button. So the size, the width is 187 by 50. So I'll go ahead and select the big menu widget. And for the width, I'll say 187. And for the height, I'll say 50. And you want to make sure that this link here is not locked because then it will constrain the width and height. So if you change the width, then the height will change as well. So now I'll just place this widget right into the state button. And you'll notice you'll notice it's in the state in the state button. Once you get once you get a more solid stroke or a thicker stroke, um, once you place it in there, you notice it becomes a, a thicker stroke, and you can just place right within the state button. And just like that, we have the big menu widget within the state button. So if I preview and I hover over and I click, it opens the big menu widget. So it's just as simple as that, just creating the state button, changing the different states within the states panel for the button here in the upper left, and then just adding the big menu widget within the states, um, yeah, the state button there. All right, so I'll just, um, right, what I'll do now is just style the menu widget a bit. So to select it, I'll click once on the state button, then click again and it'll select the menu widget. If I did want to restyle the button, I would just take out the big menu widget and just work with the button. And after, I would re-add the big menu widget. All right, so I'll click twice to edit the big menu widget. And for the menu styling, the overlay color, I'll say this red. And the font hover color, I'm going to say black. Font color will leave at white. And I think that's it for that. And then to change the text, you want to select the big menu widget. So I'll go into the text option and I'll say Futura PT bold, bold. And then let me go back in here into the big menu widget. And for the menu items, I'll just give them names. So I'll say home, I'm going to make them all capital about um, services. Or let's see what I have here. photo services and contact in the menu item section. So yeah, photo services and contact. All right, looks good. So let's go ahead and preview. So I'll click on the menu button and there we have it. Looks good. All right, so let's see a few other things. I'll just add a background image so that we can see this button a bit better. So I'll go to browser fill. Or I'll yeah, click anywhere outside of the web page. Go to browser fill, click on add image, and I'll select this image here. Say scale to fill and position it in the center. I'll uncheck scrolling so the image doesn't stretch if the page has a lot of browser height. So let's preview one more time. There we go, looks good. And we also have the close button here. So let me go back into the big menu widget. So I'll open the big menu widget here. I'll click on the close button section. And then here it says select a close button image. So I'll click add file. And then here I have the close icon light. Uh, this is included in the icons folder when you download the widget. So I'll just double click here. And for the button width, I'm gonna say 80. So it's a bit larger in the button height. I'll say 80 as well. So it's um, because the image is a perfect square, so 80 by 80 is good there. I do want the center button to be closed, uh, to, or I want the close button to be centered. So I'll click on center close button, 
and then position from the top I'm gonna say 50 50 pixels from the top okay let's see how that looks so I'll preview I'll hover over and that's way too big so let's go back into the close button and let's say 40 by 40 and that should do it so let me preview if I click yeah that's pretty good I'll bring it down a little bit more so go into the close button and we'll say 75 from position from the top uh, 75 pixels okay and I'll preview and we'll open and there we go so we have that nice close button and I do have it rotating on hover which is one of the widget options so we have that nice uh, little animation there when the user hovers over the close button so one thing you might have noticed is that the button gets larger when you change the widget options uh, it tends to add more height to the widget container which adds more more height to the state button so if that happens you just want to go back into the state button and just resize it uh, here so it was at 50 pixels in height and I'm using the height um, property here to see the height so I changed it back to 50 and I want to make sure that this menu text box is in the center and then I want to click on the big menu widget and again resize it to 50 all right so then I'll just place right back in there and there we have the big menu widget within the states button and we have that nice button to open the big menu widget uh, the last thing I'll do is I'll pin it to the left um, to the top left of the browser so when the user scrolls the menu, the menu button stays in place so to do that just select uh, the state button and then go to the pinning options here in Adobe Muse and select the upper left hand corner uh, right up here okay and then I'll preview and here it is in the upper left hand corner so if I click opens the big menu widget perfect and you also want to make sure that the these elements are at the top within the layers panel so if you have more elements just make sure that these elements are at the top um, there so that the big menu overlay goes over all the elements and if it's on the master page you'll want to create a new layer on the master page and make sure that that layer is all the way at the top in the layers panel Okay, so the last thing I'll do is I'll bring in the font smoother. Um, in the other website, there was text in the center. I used the browser centering widget to add the text in the center. Um, I do have a video tutorial on the browser centering widget. So I'll just quickly go over that as well, just to kind of explain it. Um, but yeah, the font smoother, make sure we have really smooth uh, fonts. And there we go. So menu, click, and then we have the big menu widget. Perfect. So in the first uh, example, uh, we had a different red. We can see it's brighter. Um, we notice that we have this word photography in the center so all I did for that was go to the page here I created the text box photography with the text option in Adobe Muse I formatted it and then gave it the graphic style name or brought in the browser centering widget and we see that the graphic style name is center one and it's fixed in the center so it doesn't move when the website scrolls I just checked that there then um, I assigned the graphic style name via the graphic styles panel. Um, I assigned the graphic style name center one by clicking on this uh, icon symbol here and then giving it the graphic style name, um, yeah, center one. Yeah, so yeah, I applied center one to it. And um, because that's the graphic style name in the widget, the text will be centered within the browser and you wanna make sure that the text or element that you wanna center is at the top of the page. So I just brought it all the way at the top and that centers the text. Okay, so I do have a video tutorial on that. So if you did want to check that out, it's the browser centering widget to center elements within the browser. All right, so that's it for this video tutorial. Uh, placing the big menu widget within the states button, you can have a really nice um, um, menu button with the big menu uh, by using the states button widget. And again, that's by going to object, insert widget, button, state button. All right, so that's it for this video tutorial. Um, to get access to the big menu widget, you simply go to museforyoushop.com and here you can click on subscribe today and here you can click subscribe now to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. The big menu widget is right here and here you can click add to cart to purchase individually or again you can click subscribe to get access to all widgets and any new widgets I come out with for $39 a year. Uh, if you click on the preview page we have the different menus. So if you click, you can select uh, these different menus and see the animation for the different menu, um, different
types of menus that you can select with the big menu widget. So this is the genie effect, which is really nice. So you can take a look, um, little boxes, have a little boxes effect uh, on your uh, website, yet yeah, for your menu. All right, and here we have a few of the preview, uh, or a few of the widget options, um, the change log, the, uh, the videos, I would recommend watching the 2.0 update. There since have been a few updates, uh, which I kind of covered in this video tutorial. And uh, the community section, if you had any questions about the widget. You can also leave any questions in the comment section below, and I'll be happy to answer them. All right, so that's it for this video tutorial. Again, I do this to help you build awesome websites without code. If you like this video tutorial, you can subscribe below. Also in the show more section below are links to other resources and links to museforyoushop.com. So again, thanks for watching, and I'll see you in the next video tutorial. Thank you. News for you, awesome websites without code.